Welcome to Complete Trader video series. Uh, the name Complete Trader was chosen because that's exactly what I want you to become. There are many other forex trading videos and online courses out there and I've been through quite a few myself, both when I was first learning and then also more recently just to see how I should set my videos up that are different from the others. One thing I noticed is that the instructor is generally trying to push his or her trading system as the best system. The truth is that there are plenty of approaches with regards to forex trading and the complete online course consists of four mediums. Uh, we're looking at videos, notes, online tests, and at the end we can also use Skype for the, you know, the premium members. Typically, uh, people learn and remember things better when they read, hear, and write things down. The notes are great because they can reread easily to go over unfamiliar ideas and get to know them better. Video is also good because there's some things that you simply have to be shown. You can't just read about it. The tests in this series are very simple, and there aren't many. Uh, through the classroom training, I've noticed a few common problems people tend to have. The tests are just there to make sure that you've got those things right. The only real way to grade a trader is by how many pips they make, but the tests are there just to, you know, make sure you're on the right path. Skype sessions can be extremely important. A 15 minute conversation can clear up a lot of information. Anyone who purchased this course can book me for a free 15 minute session. After we go over this limit, um, often we go over this limit, but I have uh, the restriction to stop people from abusing it. After all, I am a full time trader, so I do need time for the markets. To Skype me, you can go to my website and click on the contacts page, you'll see the Skype button there. Each video will cover one topic. So if you have forgotten something, it'll be easy enough to watch it again. So you can just look for that one video and go through it again. Not uh, all the videos are presented like this one. The videos where we look at diagrams and theory will be in this format. Videos that look at indicators and trading strategies will be recorded off my MetaTrader platform so you can see exactly what I'm doing. To make things simpler, the videos are split into six or now seven main categories. For those who have already started trading, you might want to skip some sections. I really recommend you at least watch it once though, just in case there's something that you may have missed out or you know you don't have all the foundation phase. You'll notice that all the videos are numbered with three digits. The first digit is showing what category, being theory, platform based, indicator specific and so on. The last two digits can be taken as a video number within that category. This is so I can easily add videos at a later date to various categories and you'll be able to find the new ones and, and look over the things that you don't know. I'll be adding more videos over time. Students who remain members of this online course and members of the newsletter will have access to all of the new videos coming out. Uh, specifically the 7 series. The 7 series will have the weekly updates and trade setups. All the trade setups will be left online as a way for people to review them and see how I'm finding my trades, so it can be taken as a learning tool as well. I will be posting on a weekly basis market reviews and possible trade setups for my members so that they can keep up to date with what's happening. Quite simply, the notes provided come from my 5 day course and are split into smaller chunks to accompany the videos. So instead of the 5 parts, you'll have more smaller notes to accompany each video. The notes on their own should be enough to get you on the right path to successful trading. The videos are there to enforce what's going through and specifically when we're looking at MetaTrade and actual trading strategies, it's good for you to be able to see what I'm talking about in real time. As I mentioned, the tests are really just there to help you clear up certain things that people get confused. For example, if the dollar weakens, does that mean a long or a short and the pound dollar and so on. They're not there to try and trick you or for me to try and show off. They're simply a quick way to make sure you're on the right path. For now, I'll be offering a 15 minute person uh, per person as a Skype session regarding the training at no additional charge. If we go over a little bit, I'm not overly worried, but I have to restrict the time due to the volumes of people signing up and I, I need to make sure everybody is covered. I really suggest you finish the online training and get some questions together before the Skype session. Also, please give me some warning. Add me to Skype through the website and send me a message. As long as I'm not in training, I will respond. I know there are a lot of other programs like Skype out there, but I use it exclusively. Otherwise, I'll be managing too many points of contact, and Skype does everything I needed to already. As I said at the start of this video, the series is called The Complete Trader, because that's exactly what I want you to become. You'll find that you'll gravitate towards a certain trading style that suits you and your personality more. It may or may not be the same method that I use for the majority of my trading, but at the end of the course I want you to understand enough about forex trading that you can make an educated decision on how you're going to proceed to making this a real success. If you do well, I'll do well.
please don't just skip over the disclaimer. I'm not just putting it there for legal reasons. Trading Forex can be very profitable. Please don't fall for the double your money a month guys, but it is also a risk. Every time you trade, you're risking some or all of your trading capital. Good money management and proper training can reduce the risks. Still, you should not invest more money than you can afford to lose. Don't pay for robots offering ridiculous returns, or any robots in my opinion, and don't give traders your money to trade for you. If a trader does approach you, make sure they have an FSP number, the financial service provider, and work through regulated and legitimate channels. Well that's it for now, I hope you've got a good feel for how the upcoming videos are set up and I look forward to getting some feedback from you. If you have requests, please contact me through my website.